Springs Grace Fellowship Church. Recently, I have been thinking a lot about my perspective on God's love for me. I've recognized that when things are going well, when I seem to be blessed, and when everything that I've hoped for is coming to pass, that I could look at those instances, those circumstances, and, and just sense that God really does love me. And although that's not bad in and of itself, I've recognized that I have a tendency to do the flip side as well. That when I don't seem to be blessed, when things don't seem to be going according to plan, and when the things that I hope for aren't coming to pass, and depending on how much despair there is in that time, I can really begin to question God's love for me. If you're like me, and you have that same propensity to look at your circumstances for demonstrations of God's love for you, then now might be a very difficult time. Obviously, there have been major downturns in the financial and economic markets. In addition to all the health concerns you may already be dealing with, now there's a life-threatening virus that has come into the world. In addition to that, our, some of the fundamental aspects of our life have been shaken to their core. Our community has been significantly altered, as well as our work. Work is an aspect of human life which God has intended for our well-being. You see it present both in the sinless state before the fall, and you see it in the redeemed world, in the new heavens and the new earth. Work and community are fundamental aspects of our lives as humans, and these have been dramatically changed by the stay-at-home order. And that, in addition to everything else, has given people many opportunities to despair. And if we are in a despairing state, if we see things as non-blessed or things aren't going according to our plans, and you have that tendency, you may begin to doubt God's love for you. But I'd like to encourage you with a passage of scripture which has comforted me and encouraged me in times where I have begun to doubt God's love for me. It's Romans chapter 5, verse 8, which says, But God demonstrates his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We have the cross to look to at any point in time, at any moment of despair. We can look to the cross and see God's immeasurable love for us. We never need to doubt God's love based on our circumstances because we know that Christ has died for us. So currently, if based on your circumstances, you have begun to doubt God's love for you or have failed to see demonstrations of God's love for you in the here and now, I would encourage you to look to Romans chapter 5, verse 8, and tie that verse to your heart. Memorize it, internalize it, and put it into practice. Look to the eternal monument of God's love for you in the cross of Christ. And even if you are not a person who has a tendency to look at your circumstances and to begin to measure God's love by them, there are people in your life who do this. I think there's a very natural tendency for many of us to do this. And so I'd encourage you to reach out to other people to see how they're doing and comfort them with these words as well. May God bless you.